Hello, it's Sarah from Allcraft TV, and in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to crochet this oversized, super comfy cobblestone path shawl. I am absolutely in love with this shawl, as it can be worn many different ways, so it is very versatile. It is part wrap, part cardigan, part poncho, and my favourite, part blanket. This shawl is honestly the perfect addition to any outfit, and the best part is that it will keep you super warm in winter. I hope you enjoyed crocheting this cobblestone path shawl, and if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe for more tutorials. Don't forget if you have any questions, please comment them down below. I also have a written pattern for this on our blog, allcrafttv.com. And with that, let's get crocheting. To make this shawl, I'll be using Moda Vera clad in grey. It is 48% acrylic and 52% wool. It is 12 ply or bulky weighted yarn. I used eight 100 gram balls, so 800 grams to make this shawl, and one ball is 55 meters or 60 yards. As you can see, there are different thicknesses in the yarn, which creates an uneven cobblestone appearance and texture. I will be using a 12 millimeter hook or a size 017 crochet hook. a tapestry needle and scissors to create the shawl. To begin, make a slip knot any way that you know how to and chain 116. This size will fit most. The chain start just below my bottom to one side, over my shoulders and down to the other side. But the shawl will be longer because when it is worked up, it will stretch. So mine goes just below my knees now. You will notice with this yarn that your chains are uneven as well, but that is completely okay, and that is what creates the cobblestone effect. Just keep chaining until you have 116 chains, or if you want it longer or shorter, chain in multiples of 2 plus 2. Now that we have our chain, we need to double crochet 114 for row 1. So skip the first two chains from the hook and double crochet one into the third chain. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops to double crochet one. Now double crochet one into each chain along. So into this next chain, double crochet one, Into the next chain, double crochet one. Into this 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 next chain, double crochet one. Just keep working one double crochet in each chain and I will meet you near the end of the chain. I just have two more double crochets left to do. That was my second last double crochet one. And that was my last double crochet one for row one. You should have a total of 114 double crochets if you chained 116. Quickly looking along the row, you will notice that it is lumpy with different size double crochets. And that is completely fine because it is the appearance that you want. For row 2, chain 2 and turn your work. The chain 2 is only a turning chain and doesn't count as a double crochet. Double crochet into the very first stitch. Chain 
double crochet one into the next stitch. Double crochet one into this next stitch. Double crochet one into this next stitch. Double crochet one into this next stitch. Continue to work one double crochet in each stitch along the row to have 114 double crochets. I will meet you near the end of row two. I have two stitches left, so I am working one double crochet in each stitch. That was my second last double crochet one. And that was my last double crochet one. This is what your second row should look like. Also, the stitches will be uneven as well as the double crochets. Some might be larger or others might be smaller. So just make sure you count your stitches every row to make sure you haven't missed any. For row three to six, we need to repeat row two. So chain two and turn your work. Double crochet one into the very first stitch. Double crochet one into this next stitch. Double crochet one into the next stitch. And double crochet one into each stitch along the row. You will have 114 double crochets for row three to six. To finish row 3, 4, 5 and 6, double crochet 1 into this very last stitch. The chain 2 may look like a stitch, like it does here, but it isn't, so make sure you count your stitches. I will leave you to repeat row 2 for row 4 to 6 and I will meet you at row 7. For row 7, we need to create armholes on both sides of the rectangle. So place a stitch marker 20 stitches inwards and 27 stitches inwards on each side to mark where your arms will go. As you can see, I have placed my stitch markers on each side of the rectangle. If we fold the rectangle over, the stitch markers should line up. To begin row seven, chain two and turn. Double crochet one into the very first stitch. Now double crochet one into the next 19 stitches or until you get to your first stitch marker. You can move the place of your stitch markers if you are unhappy with it, but just make sure that there are six stitches between the two stitch markers. I am near my first stitch marker. So I'm going to double crochet one into the stitch with the stitch marker. You should have six stitches between the two stitch markers. So we need to chain six, skip the six stitches and double crochet one into the next stitch with the stitch marker or your seventh stitch along.
Now we have an opening for your first arm. Double crochet one in each stitch until you get to your next stitch marker. So double crochet one into this stitch. Double crochet one into the next stitch. Double crochet one into this stitch. Double crochet one into this stitch. Double crochet one into the next stitch. And continue to double crochet one into each stitch until you get to that stitch marker. I am near the next stitch marker. So I'm just going to do one double crochet into the stitch with the stitch marker. Now we need to chain six, skip six stitches and double crochet one into the next stitch with the stitch marker. That has created your second armhole. Now double crochet one into the next 19 stitches. To finish row seven, double crochet one into the very last stitch. You will have two chain six spaces where your arms will go. For row eight, chain two and turn. Double crochet one into the very first stitch. Double crochet one into the next 19 stitches. Double crochet one into the last stitch before the chain space. Once you have done that, Double crochet six into the chain six space. That's one double crochet. Two double crochets. Three double crochets. Four double crochets. Five double crochets and six double crochets. You might have to move the six double crochets around to spread them out. Now double crochet one into this first stitch. Now double crochet one into each stitch along and I will meet you near the next chain six space. Once you have done that, double crochet one into this stitch before the chain six space. Now double crochet six into the chain six space. That's one double crocheting. Two double crochets. 
three double crochets. Four double crochets. Five double crochets. And six double crochets. Double crochet one into this first stitch. Now simply double crochet one into the next 19 stitches or until you get to the end of the row. Double crochet one into this last stitch, and that has finished row eight. This is the bottom of the shawl, which will go near your knees. This section here is your armhole, and all of this part will go around your body. Then you have your next armhole, and the other side of the shawl, which will go near your other knee. For row 9 to 16, we will be repeating row 2, so we need to chain 2 and turn our work. Double crochet 114, which is working one double crochet into each stitch along, just like what we did for row 2 to 6. So just work one double crochet in each stitch. When you get to an arm, you will just need to work one double crochet into each of those stitches like what I am doing. So just work one double crochet in each stitch. I will meet you up near the end of row 9. I am just working my last few double crochet one to finish row 9. Now I will leave you to repeat row 9 for row 10 to 16 and I will meet you near the end of row 16 to show you how to finish this shawl. I am near the end of row 16 just working my last few double crochets in each stitch. To finish row 16, double crochet 1 into the very last stitch. I have a total of 114 double crochets. Now chain 1 and pull up the loop. Cut the yarn away from the ball if you can. I didn't have much left over so that's all I have. And pull the loop through. Grab your tapestry needle and start weaving in those loose strands.
Once you have done that, you are ready to wear this cobblestone path shawl. This is one end which will go near your knees. This is your first armhole. The rest of this will go around your body, so around your back and shoulders. Then this is your second armhole and your other end which will go near your knees as well. I just want to mention that one side of the rectangle is wider, so row 8 to 16 will be worn at your back and row 1 to 7 will be worn over your shoulders at the front of your body. The shawl measures approximately 200 centimetres or 78 inches in length and 47 centimetres or 18 inches wide. I truly hope you enjoyed crocheting this shawl. It is definitely one of my favourite crochet projects to date. I just love anything that is oversized and super comfortable. If you did like the shawl, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. As I mentioned before, there is a written pattern on our blog. Thank you for watching, have a lovely day and I will see you next time.